Welcome, good evening, I'm Miss Jill, and this is In The Know. I ran across something today that said, rest in peace of mind. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. Um, we're gonna go back to it later because it will. So rest in peace of mind is going to have a lot with, uh, to do with what we're talking about tonight. Tonight we're talking about pre-planning. When we come to the end of our journey is the title for this evening. We have a guest with us, so good evening. Hi. How are you doing? I'm well. How are you? I am good. What's going on, Lanisha? Come on, loosen <laughs> up. Let's have a conversation. <laughs> let's, let's get into this. Hey, Clarence. Thank <laughs> you for having me, Miss Jill. <laughs> Lanisha. Yes. Could you um, introduce introduce yourself? Is it Bennett? Lanisha yes. Bennett? My name is Lanisha Bennett. Okay. I am a, a representative for Church Funeral Direct Network who help uh, assist you with pre-planning. Okay. Gotcha. Pre-planning. Now, now um, it's a simple term, but give us some in-depth what people, what are we talking about when we talk about pre-planning? What, what are we going to get into? Okay, when we, when you say pre-planning, what we do, uh, we help pre-plan your funeral service. There you go. Um, so many times we, we don't, we don't like to talk about the subject of death. Um, we like to avoid it, and then when it happens, which it will happen, unfortunately, it's something that all of us are going to experience. Right, right. When it happens, uh, we can be running with our heads cut off because we don't realize the expenses, mm. Um, mm. and that money mm. has to right. come from somewhere. Uh, we, we can't continue doing chicken dinners. We can't continue creating GoFundMe accounts. Right, right. When there are resources out there for you to have a, a funeral service at a low cost, even if you don't have a life insurance plan, it, we, there is something out there for every individual, even your children, to for you to take advantage of. Mm. Gotcha. Um, you brought up something, uh, GoFundMe. So has that become kind of like a replacement for, a, and not a replacement, but a like a last ditch resort? It, do you think now that more people are utilizing other things because it's out there, or are we just hearing about it wait, more? Wait, before you answer that, Jill missed a whole cultural part. <laughs> 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 Man, you, 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 you missed a whole cultural part in there. The GoFundMe is prevalent, but let's get to the chicken dinners, the fish, fish dinners, dinners, and all that. Yeah. <laughs> tell them tell about culturally how we have been trying to do this for a while. Mm -hmm. For for minorities, we do. We create chicken dinners. We, we create fish dinners. Um, I'm always gonna buy if my if my grandmother is selling a chicken dinner or a fish dinner, I'm, I'm definitely buying right. one, despite the occasion. Mm -hmm. But we don't we shouldn't have to depend on that. Yeah. Yes, um, we even depend on our churches to step in. Yeah. Our churches can't always step in and take right. that task, no matter if your if your grandmother was paying tithes for 30, 40, 50 years. Right. Um, that I task can't always that be one. completed. I kind of disagree with you on that one, but go ahead. With the tithes. Yeah. Um, if my grandmother, if, look, 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 put like this. <coughs> but you ha hold on, hold on. Oh, you you okay. have to you have to look at what mm -hmm. are tithes for. That's you paying forth what you owe God, not what you owe the church. So mm. it's, a, it's a whole nother. Oh, that's a, the, it's a whole nother mm. ball game. You, do, do you want to get into this one? No, no. We're gonna save that one because <laughs> yeah, I, I'm yeah. definitely gonna come. I'm gonna come at you with scripture. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so go, yeah. I'm gonna you gotta let me prepare. Oh, come on. <laughs> we need another thirty minutes. Yeah, bro. Yeah, that's what we're gonna stay focused right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in that conversation, and when you say the church, and a lot of people, you know. um get into that but the fish dinners the chicken dinners the GoFundMe, the car washes and the things like that mm -hmm. you're saying that there's a reasonable plan that you don't have to have life insurance there's a uh, an economical plan there's, i should say there's an alternative option for you uh, especially when you're you're dealing with church funeral direct we're going to offer you a cheaper a cheaper funeral service than what you would pay for if you were to go to one of the local funeral homes, not knocking any of our, our local funeral mm -hmm. homes, but we're going to offer you a cheaper rate. And every service is going to be done at the church. We're going to, when your deceased pass, we're going to go pick them up and take them to the funeral home. You'll be, you'll be assigned a funeral di funeral director who will directly come to you, mm. so you're not constantly have to get out mm. um, when you're grieving to to handle to handle those arrangements. Along with when when we pre plan. Everything is already put on paper of what you're right. going to do. Right. Um, so you, it gives allows you some time. It gives you that time to grieve mm. that you need instead of just. Mm. Tell me about, tell us about Church Funeral Direct Network as far as the entity itself. Um, is that something, how, how are you associated? Are you the, tell us. No, I'm, I'm just, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a representative okay. for 
um, church funeral. I, I do quite a few things. Um, I, I do the pre-planning. I do removals along with uh, funeral hosting. Um, but at the one that's most important is the, the pre-planning portion of it. I hope I answered your question. Yes, you did. Okay. You did. You know, um, we, we, we always wait to the last minute, and, and that, that's one of the scrambling things you do. Um, and trust me, I've been through, through a few funerals where, you know, you, know it, you don't know. And not only the pre-planning, there should be a plan for people to know. Do y'all set up plans for people to know, like the families, you know, what the um, decedent wanted or anything like that? Who do you? Yes. Yeah, so when we do our one on one with you, um, we will we will find out who your next of kin is that you want responsible to take over um, that they the next of kin will know everything that's going on. So when we hand you your receipt and your packet, you share that with your next of kin so they know, OK, this mm -hmm. is what I, mom has passed. I need to go to her house and she has it in the in the closet to the left in a lockbox right, all that right. information so all that information is in there so when they pa when when your loved one passes you're just making a phone call to mm -hmm. us and we're on our way within an hour okay mm -hmm. okay yeah i know my parents um i don't know how long ago it was but they are pushing 70 now and it was years ago and mm -hmm. they they had went and they did all of that and kind of like what you just said, you know, they told us where it was, blah, 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 this is what we want. And I said, you guys, you know, you did that already? And she said, if something happens to both of us, there is no way. And she looked at me, I'm the oldest. She said, there is no way that you are going to be able to do this. And she was probably right. And like you just said, you know, that whole, you don't even think about that right away when someone passes, but it's almost right. the first thing you have to think about. So... I've done absolutely nothing as far as planning for me. Have, uh, have we, you? We, we need have to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with you then. Have, is your stuff planned? Like no, no, mine's not planned. I'm going to live forever. <laughs> I mean, I think, am I right no, in I'm saying a joking. lot of people no, no, don't have No, no, you're right, you're planned? right. No, I don't have mine planned. I have insurance, but as for having everything planned, no, I don't have that. Mine's is done. Yours is done? Yes. How long yeah. has yours been done? For the last five years. That's good. Yeah, and I'm going to let kids, my daughter my, do mine. My kids know everything. What, hey. Show show the body, cremate the body. It's a wrap. Come is on. it on paper? Hmm? Is it on paper? Show the body, cremate the body. It's just that simple. I don't, you ain't got to do the opening and closing. You ain't got to do none of that. Show the body, cremate the body. Let's go. Okay. It's just that simple. I mean, it's not. <coughs> I've been through the for the last what two years. I've been I'm sat and watched how my mom scrambled. Well, they didn't scramble, but they did. When my grandmother passed, right, mm -hmm. and my grandmother wasn't from here, mm -hmm. so it was like, okay, we gotta hurry up and get her to find up, find somebody to do her body. We gotta find the, the funeral home that could fly her back to Alabama. Mm -hmm. We have to, you know, do all, you know, all this preparation, do a quick funeral. I mean, is is it's a lot to it. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is your was your mother a resident of Alabama? My Alabama. grandmother was. Your grandmother was. Well, my resident. grandmother stayed in Fort Wayne for six months and Alabama for six months. So but she she passed when she was in she Fort was Wayne. She was in Fort Wayne. And I'm, I'm glad you said that because another thing with Church Funeral Direct, we offer, um, I can't think of the name of it, but we, we offer a service to where you pay a, a flat rate amount. This uh, this is amount is covered throughout your lifetime, where if you are, for example, traveling or like you said, your, your, your grandmother was in Fort Wayne. She passed in Fort Wayne, but her her general residency is Alabama. We're going to go ahead and ship you to Alabama um, for no additional cost. To, now, if you just do that straight out of pocket mm -hmm. and it's just ha it just mm -hmm. happens, right. oh man, you you talking about a lot of money that come that's coming out of well, pocket. Well, I mean, it, it was it, everything was already like predated mm -hmm. as far as they already had the insurance policies in place. Everything was in place, but the person that had all the policies stayed in Alabama. Okay, so he, she had to quick fly to Fort Wayne and literally say, okay, this is what we need to do, how we need to do it. Which funeral home does the flights? Yeah. There's only one in Fort Wayne that does flights. So we had to correspond with them, get that together, and being that my mom knew the person that run the funeral home, we was able to do a quick funeral mm. okay. for the people that stayed up north yeah. Yeah. that couldn't get down to Alabama. Yeah. So it's just like... I, for the last, like I said, I had my stuff planned for the last five years. Hey, show the body, cremate the body. I, I, we, we good. Because simple fact, to go through a lot of, oh, well, we don't know if he wanted this or, nah, 
I ain't got time for that. Yeah. Daughter, you take over. Son, you take over. Everybody else, <laughs> they can. They ain't nothing to say. Let me. Sh- can we talk a little bit about? Um, so, if somebody were to ask us, like, have you gotten X Y Z test done for your health? We would say, if I hadn't, they would say, why? Well, it's usually time or whatever. What do you think that the top answer or close to the top when you ask someone if they have their like we just did you ask us we say no you say why not what do you think the most common answer is we don't want to talk about we it. don't we don't want to deal with it yeah and because right when you said that i was thinking like why haven't i done that and and that's the answer that came you know to mind yeah it's 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 just something that we think we're going to live forever um we don't we don't think about death. We don't want to think about death. Mm-hmm. We think death is such we think it's a dark moment. Right. Um, when the Bible says we, we rejoice, we we rejoice for death, but we mourn birth. Mm-hmm. Um, so it that's that's just what it is. We we don't want to have that conversation and it, unfortunately it needs to be had. Yeah, let's t- and, and also let's talk about if somebody is watching or somebody runs across um, this information. And they say, you know what, I think I want more, you know, I want to know more about this. Maybe I want to do this. What does it cost? How would they go about reaching out to the Church Funeral Direct Network? You can contact me personally. (laughs) (laughs) Um, You can feel free to contact myself at 260-206-5003. And what we'll do, we'll schedule a one-on-one with you. We'll sit down. I'll sit down and go over everything with you. Um, and give you some time to sit and think about it. And then one of our senior reps will come in and they will do a second meeting with you to break down all the pricing. And we can then we can start that process for you because you'll just be making monthly payments. Okay. And so I have a question. Mm-hmm. When you say the pre-planning or funeral, what it all details? Uh, pre-planning with Church Funeral Direct, like I said, it, it, it handles giving you our official staff for a funeral service. You have the option of one to two services. Um, it also comes with uh, the removal of your loved one where we, like I said, we come and pick you up within an hour and take you to our direct funeral home. Um, then there is also where, so I'm trying to think of them, I'll think of all of them. Um, you'll be assigned an actual, you'll be assigned a, a licensed funeral director who will come to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, co- they will co- come to that next of kin that's listed and they will come to you and get everything completed. Um, and then that's that's pretty much go forth from there yeah you know i i'm I'm gonna i'm gonna go to this um and i I say this tongue-in-cheek because i'm thinking about mine you know um how much of the service do y'all do y'all do the service part too like do y'all set up so you want you know um because you know we all got that cousin that's gonna get up and try to sing a solo because you know you know great aunt mary wanted me to sing this solo and she you know she can sing but do y'all sit out the order of services as well for the order of service if i'm correct um we will you can create your order of service um that's more of like putting your your fun- your program together um if i'm correct am i correct on that miss d'artagna you can do your service yeah yeah. Now, if you if your cousin get up there and you can't sing, <laughs> you, you, that's a whole we, 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 don't, don't act like we ain't been in that church. <laughs> <laughs> don't act like we ain't been there. And everybody look at everybody else like, look oh, cousin no. Bubble sing. Oh, man. Look yeah. cousin Bubble sing. Come on, now. I, I've even had a relative funeral service where I just, I wanted to go up there and snatch the mic out uh, <laughs> because of, of what. Yeah. Yeah. So that's so, what I was saying. So my question is, my other question is, like, do y'all have your own building or? Do yes, we do. Oh, okay. We do have our own funeral home. Um, that's where we, when when your loved one passes, they come to our funeral home, and and the, uh, if if embalming takes place, they'll they'll start that process with the embalming and the makeup of getting your loved one ready, uh, ready for their their actual funeral service. So here's another question. So say my mom passed. And my sister is wanting to come and dress her and get her together. Are you? Do you guys allow them to do that as well, or? Oh, that's a good question. Um, to be honest with you, I, I'm I'm not gonna say yes and I'm not gonna say no. Um, I haven't. We haven't had the opportunity where that question was asked. Mm. Um, so we, we will definitely we'll definitely find but out what that time yeah, is. Yeah, I, I know I know that because you know some people want their you know their mom's beautician to you know do that final touches their li- their mm-hmm. last makeup. So you know we get funny with the stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, so 
I can see that. And and I, and I, and, and I do. I, I and you have to be able to handle it mm -hmm. um, because it's it's different from seeing your loved one alive yeah. versus mm -hmm. seeing right. them. Well, because I I, her, I know for people like I said to do that. Yeah. You know, I know a friend that her and her sisters went in and laid their mom out. You know what I'm saying? Because they didn't want nobody else to touch her. They got her dressed. Mm -hmm. They got. They did everything. They were better from, than me. From head to toe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I, it, it depends on the person. Because, you know, like when my grandmother passed, I really didn't cry because I was there. As far as helping, you know, getting her dressed in the morning. Mm -hmm. She get up in the middle of the night. I mean, it's certain things that I was just like, I, I did what I was <laughs> supposed to do. Uh, yeah, it's all said and done. I mean, I didn't see my I dad. I did my part. I didn't see my dad until he got to true love. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when, he, when he left his house, I didn't see my dad until he got to true love. Yeah, so, that would be. You know, I, I I couldn't see that. But you know, you you mentioned this earlier, and I I want to put this in people's minds as well. So when should we start thinking about pre-planning our funeral? You know, because we have children dying, we right. have Today. teenagers dying, we we have you know so. In a mindset, give me a time frame when you should think about pre-planning a funeral. I say when birth starts. Uh, as soon as as soon as that child is is born, we're not promised to make it to two years old. We're mm -hmm. not promised to make it to five, seven, twenty-one, thirty. We're not even promised to make it to ninety. Mm -hmm. um, the earlier the earlier you start, the better it is. And it, it, and I say that because for one, that lock, despite the situation, it locks you into that pricing at that time. Gotcha. Um, Twenty years from now, you know our average funeral cost right now is five to ten thousand dollars. This is just the funeral. Right. This is not including what you pay for the cemetery. You know, go ten years from now, that cost may double. Mm -hmm. So sure. why why wait and pay all that extra money when mm -hmm. you can get it taken care of now? What is the cost? Just do you know um, approximately the average? You know, the average uh, complete cost. Yes, yes. Like the survey, w when you just said like it may double, it obviously that, with that right now with like within, the s within the state of Indiana, it's between about $9,000 to $10,000. But right. like I said, that doesn't include right. opening and closing of uh, the, the cemetery because um, they they charging you to put that dirt right, right. back on top of you. Mm -hmm. So if I come to you and I say, okay, this is what I want to do, here's how much money I have, I don't have, I, I, I don't have a lot of money. And I say, you know, what are what are my options? Do I have to pay for all this today? How how do you work that out with somebody when they are concerned with the finances? Right. Because let's be real, money is always you know a hindrance for people. Well, we're gonna what we're gonna do. We're we're gonna break it down to you. We're gonna if you decide that you want to be buried, we're gonna let you choose the casket. If you decide that you want to um, be cremated, then that's gonna be another option, which is honest, honestly the cheapest option. Yeah. Um, if you want a one-day service, two-day service, if there is embalming, if you are going to be, is it, if, if you're even going to have a service, um, all those play into factor of the cost. So we break those costs, all, all those costs are broken down to you. Um, so at the end, it, it's it's divided in within 12 months, 24 months, 36 oh, months. Okay. Mm, okay. So you have that option to pay monthly. Now, if you should transition before you finish, before you finish paying your, your plan, then someone is has to be responsible gotcha. to so make that that payment. So there are packages basically, mm -hmm. um, depending on like you said what what a person wants or, or what as far as their their service service length. Um, so they would pick their package, and then the financials would be based upon yep. you know the. We we gonna we gonna we gonna let you pick the color of your casket. Mm. So <laughs> so with that being said, you said you have a monthly service. I mean monthly fee. So say if I had a uh, life insurance in mm -hmm. place. Can that life insurance be set there instead of making monthly payments? Um, it's a little tricky with life insurance. With life insurance, when it happens, then you have to pay what the cost is going to be at that time. Um, because you can't pay us out of your life insurance right now. We're not going to suggest that you start pulling pulling right. from your, your No, I get that. But I'm, I'm just saying insurance. I have a life insurance policy. That's it's there. You can you can use it, but it won't say, it won't lock you it won't lock you into it won't lock you into the place this year's pricing. So is. it wouldn't. I mean, and that's what I'm asking because like it wouldn't. If I know I got a life insurance policy, I know I got a say I got a hundred thousand dollar life insurance policy, and I come to y'all. I'm like, okay, I want to pre-plan my funeral. 
but I already have this life insurance sitting here strictly for that. But, I, but we I can we can we can go over imp all the information, have it documented. Um, so when that happens, then we have the information. But right. you're you're still not locked. You're not locked into that pricing. You're still whatever the pricing is at that time that you transition. That's what's gonna have to pay out from your life insurance. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to think about something because life insurance, especially life insurance, is dedicated to cover the bills that you were covered while you're gone. So why not go ahead and make pay for a pre-planning now and let that life insurance take care of what it's it's meant to do. And plus, you you don't see life insurance for about fourteen days, fourteen days plus fourteen days 21? plus by the time all the stuff should be done yeah. with. And yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think and, it's and just think about it because there's there's so many there's so many factors to death. Right. Um, if you do you own your home? I mean, I, I understand. Okay, well, okay. if you if you I own, understand, but if I you mean, own your home, there's there's, there's, there's different life just, of just different imagine ways. your family has to pay somebody has to pay that property tax for right. your home or the state's taking your home. Right. So you ha you really have to sit down and think about it. Okay, let me just go ahead and pre-plan, pay this monthly payment, and then let my life insurance take care of home, What's so my family or my, well, my wife and children well, don't have to worry. Well, because well, that, I mean, that is a smart way of doing it, but there's also many different life insurance policies. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I can have a life insurance policy strictly dedicated for m my funeral. Even if I die and I have monthly well, why, payments. Well, why would you do that? When it's why, that's why not? That's, that's not the purpose of life insurance, though. Yes, it is. It's part what? of it. That's part of it. No, I, that's, I, that's, what, that's what we make it. We <laughs> well, make see, it. I mean, I, I, mean I know. I know that's uh, not what it's meant Well, for. I mean, I know a lot of people, and I know people that's, that, that sells life insurance, and they break the, the different life insurances down, and how you could do, uh, disperse your life insurance. Because I'm, all, if why, I'm just asking you, why would I pay double when I know whatever my life insurance policy I have can cover everything. Well, if, if 30 years from now you pass and you just have that $100,000 policy and funerals cost $100,000. And what I get you what you're saying, but if I, like I said, because I, I, mean, I know uh, my guy that I use get one of my life insurance policies on. He got it broken down mm -hmm. with a point that anything I incur, a funeral, house, this, that, and other, it's broken down like that. Okay. Yeah. Then if you if you if you choose to do that, um, I just I just sit and think of think about it thoroughly um, before you make that full decision. But if if that's your choice, I'm not going to be one to stop you. Right. Right. Um, but I just I I want you to look at the bigger picture and all the other what ifs um, about death that we we don't know about. We lack knowledge of. Right. Mm -hmm. That brings me. That's what I was going to ask. Is I'm not super educated on this process is that is that common i mean do you think that when people come to you they also have questions about the process itself so i don't have to come to you and already know everything about all of this because you are going to educate me on what needs to be done just mm -hmm. like you're doing right now correct do you I'm, I'm not super educated um i'm gonna let you know what i know mm -hmm. if there's something that i don't know i'm gonna send, i'm gonna contact the next person to lead you Lead gotcha. you the best way. Gotcha. So you would be sitting w if I if somebody comes in, you would actually sit down with them though, um, and go over like you said all the packages yes. and stuff. So it's one on one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And, and, a, and a quick question again, um, and it goes into the finances. And you know, Eric has a valid point, but we we also have these questions. We have these problems. Now you are all in house. We don't have to do third party or anything. So. There is some third party is what we call cash advancements. Um, cash advancements is your your flowers, your funeral programs, mm. um, those items, those th third party companies that we can't, we don't have okay. any control of their their pricing to lock to lock you into their their rate. Okay, but it's still covered in in what I pay, or is mm -hmm. that an addition? You can if if you say, hey, I want a casket spread, and I want to put two hundred dollars aside for that casket spread, we're going to work that into your okay. monthly pricing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when that time comes, two hundred and now if, if flowers go up, then then um, only two hundred dollars of that is going to be allocated C to correct. flowers. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's good. We are all, you know, we all like you say, death is not. It doesn't have an age. It doesn't have a time. It doesn't have anything. It doesn't even have a race. So, how do you how do you go about reaching out to the community? Are you uh, like out in the churches? Are you out in uh, out in um, 
like in the churches when you have a captive audience do you do things in the churches how do you get your message um out? for me for me personally i don't i'm not sure how every other representative do it um it's talking with my family and it, they talk to their friends and they talk to their friends um i've even held a session at the library to where you can come in and we can have we'll have one big group discussion going over church being indirect okay mm. that's good that's good now, if you, which if you would like for me to come to your church, I'd be more than willing <laughs> to, and yeah. we can we can do it as a yeah. group session. Yeah, because um, I know they just had some yesterday. I think um, our pastor spoke at something at, in Jerusalem. He did. Um, he they it was discussion of pre planning as well mm -hmm. with Miss Norma Bird. Um, a lot of city knows Miss Norma Bird from from Ella's funeral home, mm -hmm. um, and then it was Pastor Pastor Fred Morris uh, discussing things about the end of life. And he definitely hit, he hit some key points because there were some things that I didn't know um, that I learned yesterday right. as well. Right. And that, that along with pre planning, I think he talked about the advanced directive. And we're going to have a conversation oh, yeah. about that coming up, too, because that's something we, we, we need to talk about, you know, before that end of life. Who's going to make those decisions? You know, I just did mine yesterday. Yeah. Now, um, <laughs> yeah. I did. I did. Now, do we do power of attorney? Um, how how does that work? Um, to be honest with you, I have no idea. Um, I'm not good answer. That she was like, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I, that's I, I, when I, I was, and it's crazy because I was just talking to uh, my, a relative of mine um, prior to coming here, and I, 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 I told her, I said, sometimes you just, I, I said, we gotta ask mom, right? Yes, yeah. I have no that's idea. That's what we would do when we don't know. Yeah, yeah. but it, it's it's so much to death. Um, it, it's a lot. It's a lot to know. Uh, so a lot of us we're, we're learning as we go. Yeah, because that's not something you delve into unless, you know, yeah. you, you have POAs and PODs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't even. Uh -uh. Yeah. Um, you mentioned uh, the location. Where is the actual location of the the, the building? Um, I, I can't, I can't expose Fort the... Is it in, is it in, like, local? We have one. Because we have one local um, that's on the outskirts of Fort Wayne. So, but don't you have to? So if somebody, you said you hold the service. Service, all services are will be held in a church. Okay, um, so never the be actual in the building, home. Yeah. but that's where they would come to talk to you. No, okay, we're, we're so that's where I so no, they can't just come to a place, they have to call you, make an appointment. No, what we assign a funeral director to you, okay, um, that funeral director comes to you, okay, so in every you don't, case, in every case, gotcha. so you don't have to be out and about. Gotcha. If you want to stay at home and drink some coffee and relax, they're going to come to you in your comfort and your the comfort of your own home. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good. But we're gonna we're gonna leave. And I know Jay got one question, but um, look into the camera. Tell our people the importance of why we really need to pre-plan our funeral. The reason why we need to pre-plan our funeral is that we don't want our families stuck with a cost that they can't afford. Um, we don't want to. We want to be able to grieve the time that we need to grieve and not have to worry about finances and how I'm going to bury my loved one and think of alternative options to get the job done. So it's, it's highly important that you put, you pre-plan your service for yourself, for your children. And so, and so you, your love, your family knows what to do when that time comes. Right. And once again, why can I locate you or get in touch with you? Ah, feel, feel free to contact me at 260 two zero six five zero zero three and my name is Lanisha Bennett. Well Lanisha we want to thank you for being here with thank us. You for having lots and lots of information. Obviously not something that we love to talk about, but we love the knowledge. We love to be able to let the community know. Um, and I learned something as well. I'm awesome. sure I'm sure they did too. So you would agree that the rest in peace of mind makes sense because yes. Peace of mind is what it's about. Yes. Right? Absolutely moving moving forward. So we do thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. And uh, as we always exit, we say. Always protect your mind.